G'day and welcome back to this video series on changes in technology in the 20th century. If you missed the first video, Changes in Transport, check that out at Wimbledon Channel. What on earth are you talking about? Yeah, what channel? And uh, where are we? Yeah, this, this place is amazing. Oh, this is just my garden. Little uh, retreat area where I like to go. Yeah, so uh, welcome to my humble abode. This is incredible! I mean, is this the cabin that we saw before? Yeah, I mean, it's not much, but you know, it's cosy. This is... this is just in... wow! Yeah, I quite like it. You were talking about technology in the home. Oh, yeah, good call. 20th century. Yeah, the home you're looking at right now is your typical 21st century home. It's really not. Wow, oh, this is amazing. Oh, oh okay, well, well, it, it's a nice 21st, this is like 23rd century, it's amazing. Oh, well, uh, actually, come to think of it, you know what, I might try this new app I've been trying out. Hold on. Come this way. Wow, look at that. What is that? Oh, uh, uh, don't, hold on, don't mind, don't worry about that. Welcome to your at home history question series. You're looking at technology in the home. You've asked, how has technology changed the way we live? That's a great question. In fact, there are perhaps four ways we could look at the effects of technology in the home in the 20th century. Communications, time-saving appliances, powerful productivity and connectivity. Let's talk talking. In Australia, the Telegraph opened in 1854 and international service opened in 1860, but it cost the average weekly wage per word. So not used very often. Ha. Next came telephones. Australians were early adopters of the telephone. Only two years after the first ever exchange opened in the US, we opened ours in 1880. And 20 years after that, there were 30,000 private telephones. Eventually, they became ubiquitous, absolutely everywhere. Then came the internet. This replaced email, replaced letters mail, replaced newspapers, replaced words, and replaced human interaction. Next, we have time-saving appliances. We're talking household technologies, which really helped to replace menial labor in the home. Things like vacuum cleaners, cooking, toasters, microwaves, washing machines, and dryers. And of course, who can forget, ironically, all these cost a lot of money and we now work just as many hours to afford them and our homes rather than them saving time. But households are now more powerful as workstations and we can work longer hours at home as well. But what about entertainment, you say? Great question. Now we have streaming services taking over television and being used more and more. However, what we haven't done is reduced our television time. What we do instead is we actually look at both devices at the same time. On top of that, we've begun using the internet for self-education purposes. And we've connected our fridges and other devices to the internet and very soon they will be able to do things like order more milk for us. So that is your history question experience. Hopefully you enjoyed it and feel free to take part in our online survey. Yeah, so uh, hopefully that helped with your assignment. You know, the video series that we're currently all in. What video series? The, uh, oh, uh, uh, never mind. You guys let yourselves out, all right?